Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 here and it's review time. So I have been using this guy right here for the past year and a half. This is an Onyx 245 dual lipo balancing charger. And it's packaged up here for a purpose and I'll I'll uh, get to that in a minute. But basically, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So, this guy is a pretty decent light bulb charger. So, as you see inside the packaging, you know, you've got the charger itself. And, pull it out here. You also have two pretty decent balancing boards and you know these are you know, your basic balancing boards so what they do the extra well, well either these are the electric flight connectors these are the ones i actually used on a daily basis but you've also got another set of balancing boards in here and it also comes with a set of traxxas and tamaya and dean's charging connectors so you can right out the box charge you know a very large sampling of of lipo of what of not just lipo of any kind of batteries and this is a multi chemistry charger so let me just unravel this cable and plug it in so we can actually go through the features here so here we go so you hear the nice cheerful tones that's it coming alive so a little bit about the specs of this unit you see it's like it says the onyx 245 charger dual charger and this does lithium uh, lipo batteries uh lifey batteries nickel metal hydride and nicads and this is an interesting unit because well actually it's i guess it's not that interesting in that a lot of the dual chargers out there are actually two completely separate units in the same package and you'll see right here you've got two displays Two redundant set of controls and if you cycle through you can go through and say you know from NICAD to nickel metal hydride lithium ion lipo and then lifey in the back of around you can also go through and uh, select all sorts of different uh data that you can look at so but anyway you can go in and you can select the uh, you can select the charging current up to five amps uh, which is a nice feature however that comes to one of my complaints about this unit what i didn't realize when i bought this unit was two features number one you look at this charging or the balancing connector that you get and you see it has balancing leads for up to 6s lipo focus can you read it i'm on a little focuser okay but yeah it has balancing connectors for the 6s but the unit itself will only charge up to a 3s lipo so that was disappointing because I had aspirations of taking Slade here and Dizzy to 4S to do some 4S runs and this charger would not handle that. The other thing that was disappointing was that even though you can set this guy to charge up to five amps, you can only do that with a 2S LiPo pack because each side of this unit is limited to 40 watts so doing the math you know if you have a 3s battery pack it will only charge at about three and a half volts or sorry three and a half amps uh, because that's you know all the current you have available to stay within the 40 watt per side peak so that and the fact that I, I've gotten to a point now where for some of my benchmarks and some of the testing that I would like to do, I need to get some more information about what's going on inside the battery. So for a, for a pretty decent charger that's, you know, set up for somebody who can, you know, who doesn't have to have their batteries charged instantly, like uh, for example, um, three and a half amps of current you know, charging gives you about a 90 minute charge on a 5,000 milliamp hour LiPo 3S battery pack. And, you know, and that's right at the limit of what this uh, unit will do. It actually has a 90 minute timer where it won't charge the battery for more than 90 minutes, hence a 90 minute timer. 
but like I said, it actually, you know, it works out fairly well. So a 3S light bulb will charge and the, the 5,000 milliamp hour packs will charge in about 90 minutes. So all was right in the world. If you have a higher capacity pack, you might have some issues. But if you're a hardcore racer and you are trying to charge back between heats, um, this isn't going to work for you. But if you are a more casual guy, you're just getting into it, or you know you don't you don't need to turn around batteries in 15 minutes, then you can probably live within that constraint. So, and I was living within that constraint just fine, you know, for the type of running that I was doing. But I just got to the point where I needed to uh, be able to handle larger packs, and I needed to be able to get more information like internal resistance and that sort of stuff. And unfortunately, that just does not come from this unit. But from an overall livability standpoint, workmanship, you know, all the things that are really important to a charger, you know, having different leads, the ability to run on AC or DC, this unit actually works really well and it fit really nicely within the way that I did things. And it's actually a fairly compact unit so I could fit it into my go box when we went to the field and not really have to worry about it. Um, but again, I outgrew it. So, but all in all, I'm gonna give this uh, give this four out of five stars. It's a pretty decent, pretty, pretty good charger. It's not the best charger on the market. Honestly, it's probably not even the best value on the market because the retail price on this is about 119. So for that price point, there's actually uh, several other uh, dual chargers that you know are uh, have a few more features and have a little bit more power. Um, like uh, right off the top of my head, I can think of. Um, see there I think of a couple other models that are listed on eBay and Amazon uh, there's the D610 which I think is the Vista Power and um, the UP120 AC I believe uh, both of those uh, are listed on Amazon they both have are fairly highly reviewed um, and uh, I think they're both 100 watt per side chargers uh, and they're about the same price so if you like to have the name, you know, this does have the Onyx name on it, and it also does have a five-year warranty, which is a nice thing. Those other chargers, I don't know if they have a warranty at all. And again, this comes with a bunch of balancing leads. It comes with a bunch of different um, connectors. But again, you're limited to 3S LiPo charging on this. And if that is a, um, if that's a, a deal breaker, then that's, you know, you're just not gonna be able to run with it. Oh, the other thing is that this does not include some of the more interesting features, like um, I've got a Traxxas nickel metal pack right here that I never run. So uh, this is the pack that came with my son's car. So I tried to run it, and when you have a nickel metal pack sitting around for a long time, their capacity basically drops to nothing. The way you can revitalize this though is to have it go through a refresh cycle. Many other chargers have that. This one does not. Another big feature is that my I don't run my packs all the time. Like some guys run every day or every weekend. Um, it's not good to have a LiPo pack sitting around fully charged. So most of the higher end chargers have a, uh, a storage charge mode where you can discharge the battery to some nominal voltage. Usually it's 3.8 volts per cell. This charger does not have that as well. So if you know that going into it and you can live with that, I say it's a pretty well done unit. Um, so, but, and I, I do like the unit, but I think that uh, for, for the money that you pay for this unit, there's other units out there that can give you a little bit more bang for your buck. But like I said, it's a well integrated unit and you're getting other things to go along with just, um, the name for that price so i can't really knock it down it's just not the best value all right so i hope you guys found this useful and remember to check me out on facebook or instagram or i mean even on twitter but i really don't update that that much but you know let me know what you think remember to like comment and subscribe and remember the mantra to fly fix fly break it fix it and do it all over again our house 21 signing off and until next time guys peace